from a long line of welders. Both my grandpa's welded and my dad is welded. And so I learned welding at a very young age. I remember one of my first memories of welding when I was four and I was welding up a hitch on a dually. And I was so small that my dad had to hold the welding helmet on my head because it was gonna fall off. I love teaching, I love sharing what I love. I love being able to get other people to get into what I like, welding. The American Weld Society is estimating that over 375,000 vacancies in welders in next year. One of the biggest things I like to say is that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't want to work. You can have as much talent for welding, but if you're not going to apply to it, if you don't have the attitude to be in there constantly improving, constantly wanting to prove how can I do better, then someone who has the attitude of it is always going to beat you. One of the best things is that when you can go anywhere, you can do shipbuilding down at the Newport News. So you can go into the ship repair down there. You can work on airplanes. You can weld in the military's career path. You can do shutdowns, power plants. That's what I did for a couple of years. You can do race cars. You can work on muffler systems. You can do machine shop, auto body. You can do, there's so many different revenues you can do. We do credentials for non-credit. You would get a welding level one, and that would get you th all the stick welding. Less than six months. Generally, it's five and a half. Five and a half to six months is what we do. Um, it's on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, eight hours each day. I try to make my class feel like you're surrounded by friends at all times. We're joking, we're laughing. It doesn't feel like so much as you're in a class, so much as you're a group of friends. I think that welding would be a terrific pathway to a job if you like to build things, if you are always spilling your hands, if you love being able to see doing a project from start to finish, if you like being all portions of it, if you like being able to draw a design and seeing it become something. At the end of the day, you like seeing, you know, say, I made this. I made the ship. I made this truck trailer. I made a, I think this farm equipment. I think this worked for a tractor. At the end of the day, well, you can always say, I did this. It's never something someone take away from you. It's always something that you're always going to have.